A lot of times our customers um, ask us how to get started. What do we do to get started? And oftentimes the instinct, like I said, um, as I introduced uh, the conversation today, is to take a data set, to build a predictive model, and go from there. Yet oftentimes that leads to a lot of false starts. When it comes to building a proactive application, when thinking about your business, your equipment, your data, and your customers, how do we move beyond that false start and that limited view of predictive when it comes to building proactive service opportunities? Uh, that's a huge question. Absolutely huge question. Can of worms, Pandora's box, and um, when, I, when, I, when I started the, the, the kind of last section, it was we, we had a particular problem to solve, and when it goes to solving or, or building that sort of proactive uh, technique, that you know, whatever it is, you eventually going to end up deploying or rolling out or commercializing. We've been guilty of it in small sessions. Uh, if, if we've we've brought business units to the party and their technical development team, R&D team have went, hey, this would be cool if we could do this. And they'll go and they'll go and develop a particular tool or they'll go and develop uh, you know, a service that goes and does, that goes and does something. Uh, and eventually once that's, once they've got it working and, or, or working to an extent that they go and go and show it to the, the, the commercial team or their commercial team to go and get it uh, productized and rolled out and, and connected to different assets, the, the commercial team will be like, well, why did you do that? You know, it's a great science experiment. And, and we have, like I said, we have been guilty of that in, in small cases and with Uptime Platform for the technical development has happened purely because technical development could happen rather than, like I said, with the, the actual solution that Uptime was trying to solve was a, was a problem. We have found that if we, if we are trying to solve a bad actor so that there's a row of five machines out on a site in the outback in australia somewhere and one of them isn't performing the same as the other four then then that one's a problem that we're trying to solve and and, and uh, connect with the customer engage with the customer and get that machine to where the other four are uh, so start with a problem don't start with hey it'd be cool if we could do this and i think to, to learn from other people's mistakes, um, you know, in particular ours, is start with a start with a problem that you want to solve. Don't start. The people that get involved in these sorts of projects are normally forward, quite forward thinking, and they look at the technology and they see that the technology is there to use, and then think, and then think, hey, let's just use this technology to do something. Absolutely, hundred percent is look at the problem you're trying to solve first, and, and we've got we've got quite a good process now. Uh, especially when we're looking at rolling out onto to new assets and, and doing brownfield connections or retrofits, we we look at the all the design information we've got in that. We, we ask the problem that we're trying to solve: is it a condition monitoring problem? Is it a performance problem? What is the nature of the problem that that, that we're trying to solve here?